guys, welcome back to Vinceville Customs. So today we're doing sort of, not really a garage kit review, somewhat of garage review, but kind of explaining how this project is going to evolve. So this is a Silox statue produced by Razor Studios and it was sculpted by Nick Hanzo. And this is an ES of 01 because I asked for a kit and they were kind enough to send me a kit because uh, they did a pre-painted paint run of the regular and the X-Force colors. Uh, but the reason why I got this statue is when I saw it, I actually liked it a lot because it wasn't a Jim Lee Psylocke. I am tired of Jim Lee everything for X-Men. Now, don't get me wrong. I know Jim Lee is like the classic 90s X-Men and everybody wants that in their collections. But every Psylocke I see, every Rogue, every uh, Cable, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, Cyclops, Wolverine, Magneto, it's all Jim Lee. And don't get me wrong. I, I grew up with Jim Lee reading the X-Men stuff, but I'm tired of seeing this stuff. I'm just sick of it. Uh, that's just me personally. So... You know what it is, is there's thousands of different uh, Jim Lee stuff. Let's kind of do some, you know, other stuff. So I like this one because it felt more of like a realistic Asian female Psylocke. And that's kind of like the, I like the anatomy on her. I like the head sculpts. It just felt really different for one. So that's what I liked about it. So I contacted them. I asked them if I could get a kit. And they were kind enough to send me a kit. So we're going to do a paint series video on this. But it's going to be patrons are going to vote on how it evolves so I already sent them a picture and we're going to be making the classic colors on her but I'm actually going to pick up my favorite version setup of her and that's it so she comes with three heads as you can see two sets of arms uh, all the base elements are still in the box because I'm not pulling out the base stuff yet because I want to focus on the figure and get her set up and then I'll pull out the stuff so for me personally I don't know about you guys uh, if I buy a statue and it comes with two heads or two sets of arms or a couple extra elements, I always am the type of person that I pick out my favorite and the rest of it sits in the box forever and I never utilize them. For example, I have the Iron Kid Studios Hinata statue from Naruto and I picked out her flame, uh, you know, uh, tiger uh, line fists and her bleeding head and the rest of the stuff sits in the box and I never change it because that's what I want on my shelf. So the same thing would happen with this one. If I uh, painted all these elements, the rest of them would sit in a box forever and I would only have my favorite setup. So I'm actually going to go from the pictures I posted in the video. I'm going to pick out my favorite setup and that's what I'm going to use for this figure. The rest of the heads or the arms, all that's going to sit in the box or I'll use it for a custom project down the line and I'm never going to utilize them. So this is kind of like what I want on my shelf and that's it. But let's go over a few things here. So you can see uh, all the white resin is casted up in white resin. I'm pretty sure it's white. I don't think it's primer. I could be wrong. They might have primed over it. Maybe they have. So it looks like there's a little gray. But whatever the case is, it's not a big deal. Um, they casted up all the skin tone in a uh, skin tone resin, which I'm not really a fan of. I understand they do that for production reasons because they could cast it up in uh, skin tone resin. They could do some blends on it, some uh, shading, some uh, uh, washes, and they can make it look really cool and get it out the door. But for me, everything is going to get primed, and then I'm going to paint it up my way. Now, one of the things that bothers me, and this is not just this kit here, it's every kit that I'm seeing, and everybody that's sculpting, whenever you sculpt a female with a leotard, she does not have what my one friend calls boob socks. This is not natural. Whenever you have a leotard, it goes straight across. You may see a little bit of a indentation, but this does not make sense to me because even if you look on, you know, Google, Instagram, any females that have bathing suits, uh, leotards, or, you know, uh, gymnastics, this is not natural. Uh, the only time you see this, if it's a wet t-shirt contest and it's soaking in, then you would see that. So this is going to get fixed up. Now I know there is texture here and I don't care if I lose the texture because I want to rework this and I'm going to make this look a little bit more natural. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, one of the other things too is these legs are not uh, magnetized, but I'm going to be setting these up as a permanent solid piece. Because then once this is solid, I'm going to actually re-sculpt the belt because it came with a belt. But I'm not really a fan of this belt. So I'm going to kind of tweak this up and everything. But you can see right here, they gave her a thong. But the thong doesn't actually go deep, deep in like it should. So I'm actually going to rework the booty here. And then I'm going to re-sculpt uh, some of the stuff so it's not a super thong. I want to give her a little bit more of a leotard but not like uh, granny panties, just something a little bit different. So this is all going to get reworked in here and stuff like that. And then I think the front in here, I'm going to have to rework a little bit. Now I know her legs attach and it should be where, you know, you uh, 
set it up and then you magnetize it together but i want this to be one solid piece so i don't mind that i'll have to try to get in there with a brush and everything and then uh also her feet don't really line up to the base correctly uh there so this is going to have to be reworked anyway so we'll figure that out uh so all in all she does come with the side blades uh she comes with the sword uh, side blade and then she comes with a uh, metal sword now i think my metal sword must have got a little bit bent in shipping here uh, but I don't think I'm going to be using the sword anyway. Even though at one pose she does hold it over her shoulder. But I'm not really sure if I'll be using that one. Um, I think I really want to go with the side blade. But I don't know. i, I got to figure it out. I'm going to figure out what I want. So this head right here I'm not really a fan of. But I do like the way it covers the eye. So, you know, down the line when I'm ready to figure out my pose, I could post the picture and say, Hey, do you guys want to see this tweaked a little bit? And you can see this hair piece broke off already in shipping. But I'll fix that. So I can retweak all this stuff too. And even in the hair, if I'm not really a fan of the hair, I can ask the patrons, hey, I think I want to re-sculpt the hair, do something different. And we could do something different. You know, I don't have to do what the kit sent me. So that's one of the things that I always tell people if you're kit building, you don't have to do what they gave you. If you want to re-sculpt something, if you want to add some extra elements, if you don't like her on that base and you want to put her on another base you got from another statue, go right ahead and do whatever you want. So that's where we're at. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick my pose, I'm going to start cleaning this up today while I'm working on all my other commissions because I figured I might as well start priming and painting and getting a lot of stuff together and chopping and sanding and I could do this on the side. So you guys will see this kit down the month, few months, uh, a video of it being painted but if you watch my live streams I'll probably be working on some elements here and there in the live streams every once in a while and then hopefully maybe by the end of the year of 2022 i'll have this all done we'll see how it goes but it's a side project and we're going from there so that's the side lock kit i'm sorry i'm not showing you all the base elements because i'm going to do that later the base will either be another video or i'll just paint it on the live streams and i could kind of just do it live on the streams and kind of go through it and go from there so that is the side lock from razor studios uh let me know what you guys think hopefully you're interested in seeing how this evolves over the next couple months and we'll see how this turns out as a nice one-of-a-kind custom piece for myself for my own collection. So thanks for watching, and we'll be back with some more videos.